kill. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, quick video here today. I wanted to make something with uh, VTOL VR. And I've kind of been looking into it a little bit. It's a VR game, obviously. And it looked quite interesting from a VR perspective. So I kind of wanted to give it a try and uh, see what it is. Is it more gamey or is it simulator-like? Sort of. I mean, it's VR, so my expectations are not that high. We are in the early lifespan of VR right now, so... I don't want to have my expectations too high, but I really wanted to see if you could uh, dogfight in this thing, you know? And what the uh, aerodynamics and principles of BFM, see if that stuff still applied here or not. So that's really what this video is about, and uh, we're gonna go have a look and see how it is. All right guys, let's get started. Okay, so this is the inside of the aircraft. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the radar. It's over here. All right, and then I'll turn on this camera so you guys can see me. Start, it's like a camcorder. Yeah, and then put it up here. Cool. All right, so this thing kind of looked like an F-15. It's a fictional aircraft, obviously. I forget what it's called. It's like the F-46 or something, I don't know. Um, but it's not real. And the fact that it's not real means that we have no idea what its, you know, max rate speeds are and, uh, you know, corners and sustained, or sorry, uh, instantaneous turns and EM diagrams. Basically, we don't have that. It's a completely fictional aircraft. And uh, I have no idea, put the throttle up to full here. I have no idea what the enemy's specs are, so I have no idea how to fight him. Now, once we merge, within a couple of turns, I should be able to figure out what my advantages are and his advantages so we'll see um, the problem is usually in those one or two turns it's good enough to die if you don't know what your advantages are but so we'll set the radar screen as soy here because we got a rwr showing us an f in front of us which i assume means fighter and really what i, I want to find out here is is this more of a game or can you use it as almost like a simulator um, in the sense that you want to practice your BFM and all that kind of stuff. So there's the Bandit Off Auto 12 here. We'll go ahead and lock them up. Got the gun selected. All right. Boresight. There he is. He's that little red thing off on our right side. And he's gonna shoot on the merge. What are you doing? Hey, dude, he actually hit me. That is not cool. All right, so I'm gonna try to turn around. I'm trying not to pull too hard on the stick. You can see that I had to come back and dump the nose. So I'm flying this aircraft with just the VR controls. I'm not actually using uh, my F-18 throttle and stick here um, because it doesn't work. You got to use the VR thing. As far as I know, there's no option to use a HOTAS system. And using that, oh, he's going to get his nose on. Nah, I jinked out of it, sort of. And because I don't have my, my stick and throttle, it, I'm finding it very difficult to control the aircraft. Like right there, I just tried to turn around and I did not. So now I'm still going forward, and the bandit is on my six. It's somewhere. I don't know where he is. That's great. It's fantastic. It kind of looked like the bandit was some sort of hornet, too. You know, like, kind of looked like a hornet. I don't know, man. It didn't fly like a hornet. It's some weird shit. He's just shooting at me. Okay, he's shooting underneath. So we're going to roll it over. There he goes. Boresight, lock him up. Okay. Stall warning. Come on, come on. Okay, well, there we go. Okay, hit him once. And so we got to ease off the stick, let the speed build up again. 
cash it in a little bit to get the nose on. Come on. Ah, huh? How do you like that? Yeah. That's what you get for shooting at the merch, huh? I have some of this, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, good. That went well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I guess some principles of BFM still apply here like vaguely but this kind of seems more like a game to me than a real simulator and uh, I don't know it, it's gonna feel that way as long as you have to fly with these VR um, controls in your hands it just doesn't you don't have a real stick and throttle so I don't know I just don't feel like you can have as much control over the aircraft as you can have with uh, a stick and throttle so it feels a little gamey for sure. And uh, especially not knowing the specs of the other aircraft, it, it's very, very difficult to dogfight them. And so here we got one on our 6 o'clock. Let's go ahead and turn around. And it, like it, the reason I say, another reason I say it's gamey, because the radar as far as I know, it does not have an elevation control. It just sees everything. So you can bump out the range, but that's about all you can do. There's no radar elevation, bars, that kind of stuff. Nor do I think it was the intention of the developers to create a simulator. You know, let's be fair. I don't think that's what they were trying to do. Um, again, when it comes to VR, we're kind of still in the early days of VR's life. You come back in 20 years and you're going to have a very different experience. Yeah. So we're about to merge with this, uh, whatever the hell this is over here. Didn't even tell me, it just told me he's a fighter. So, And hopefully this guy doesn't shoot at the merge. It's coming up, nose hot here. So I can still see orientation on the radar screen. That's good. Let's switch over to boresight mode. Kind of lost visual, I'm not gonna lie. Can't see him. Oh, there he is, underneath. Alright, we'll roll it over because I okay. knew he would shoot. He tried to shoot again, man. These guys, I swear to God. Alright, well, he went vertical and I don't see him again, so. That's always nice. There he is. Behind me. Try to turn this big bird around. Oof. So that's the thing with these guys is they pull you right into their HUD and try to shoot you as they fly by. And you just gotta be ready to jink so they don't hit you. But uh that is fairly simple. You just roll the aircraft over and they end up right in front of you. It's not that hard. So I'm having a little bit of trouble pulling the nose up onto him here. So I'm just going to dump it. That's fine. I'll just hold him here until the opportunity arises to kill him. See, like, what is that? Oh, that kind of looks like a Sukhoi. I mean, it's obviously not, but it kind of looks like it. And so this guy actually just turned in front of me, turned away, thought about reversing the turn. Oh, here he is. He just reversed his turn. And that's why you don't do that. Have some of that, yeah. That happens every time you reverse a turn. Which even happens in this game. It happens in DCS okay. and this game. So, I hope we've proven that reversing your turn in front of your bandit is not a good idea. There he goes. Ah, uh, yeah. I love the 
this new celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very good. Over G. Over G. So that's going to be the video, guys. Um, I'm somewhat impressed with this for a VR game. I mean, it's impressive, you know. But when you put it next to DCS, it's obviously not there. But it's not a fair comparison, and I don't think that's what they're trying to be. They're not trying to be a simulator. Um, it's more of a game right now, from what I can tell. And, you know, it's fun. It's fun. You can definitely practice some sort of BFM in there, but it's just not going to be like DCS, in my honest opinion. Um, it did feel a little bit gamey. Um, definitely better than something like Battlefield, um, but still really hard. And I'm not a huge fan of controlling the aircraft with the VR controls. I'd like to be able to use my HOTAS and stuff like that. So um, that's just my opinion, man. If you like it, go get it. If you don't, well, you don't have to get it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.